What is up YouTube? My name is John and today's video will be something really special that I had on my mind for a while but I never really got around to make this kind of video and also I want to apologize to all of you, my subscribers or all of you that are viewing this video because this video was supposed to go yesterday but you know life got in the way and I didn't just have the time to make this video so I'm really sorry about that, I hope you will understand. I want you guys to know me a little bit better so I made a list of my top 10 favorite bands and the reasons why I love them so much and I will also tell you something about myself because I just don't want to be some random no-name face on the internet I, will, I feel since there's like already 1200 of us right here subscribers thank you so much for subbing to my channel by the way I just want to throw a little bit of personal information out there so you know who this guy is and who you're dealing with Alright, so in my intro I always say that my name is John, but that's actually not my name. My real name is Jan, or actually it's Honza, that's what my family and friends call me. It's just kind of a different version of the name and I really prefer it. And I think the English mutation of the name is John or I, and I'm not sure which one is like more official, but you get the idea. I'm 27 years old and I'm from Czechia or Czech Republic. That's a little country in the middle of the Europe and I love music, I love drumming as you can see right here. I also play a little bit of guitar and I also really love games and gaming in general. I spend a lot of time playing games with my friends or just by myself and I also love YouTube. Uh, both watching it and making these videos for you guys because that's something that I really really love and enjoy doing right now. And I don't think that it will change anytime soon in the future, so yeah, here I am. I've been playing drums for like 10 years now, and at one point I was actually in a band, a hard rock band that turned out to be a glam rock band. And when I heard the word glam and that I need to put some special stuff on myself, I was like, nope, sorry guys, I'm out of here. So yeah, that's a little bit of an info on myself, who I actually am. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me down in the comments, I will try to answer everything that I can. But right now it's time for my top 10 favorite bands. Also this list is in no particular order, so it doesn't mean that a band that I mentioned the first is like number 10. It's, you know, it's just how it is and I think you get the idea. Alright, so band number 1 is Soilwork. Soilwork is a melodic band from Gothenburg, Sweden, and it's actually one of my first heavier bands that I listened to. Uh, it was actually when I discovered In Flames that I discovered Soilwork as well. They're really awesome because they really keep on evolving their music throughout their career and throughout their albums and... You know, Bjorn is just one of the best singers that I've ever heard. I actually think that Bjorn Speed Street is one of the best metal singers today and... I saw them live twice and I actually met Bjorn once and he's a really cool guy and he gave one hell of a performance like I couldn't believe my ears what I was hearing that was just absolutely crushing and it's heavy, it's melodic, it's atmospheric, it's everything and I'm just gonna give you a little snippet of their music, of their songs right here so yeah, enjoy it! Band number two is Periphery and if you saw some of my videos you might already know that these guys are like my top band right now, number one, because they just have the perfect mix of technicality and accessibility to their music that it just... When I heard them for the first time I think that was when I heard Bob demo, Demos way back in the day and I was like yeah this is, this is cool stuff but something is missing, I was missing vocals I think and then I forgot about it for quite some time and rediscovered them when I heard Jetpacks was yes with the video and I was like holy crap this is absolutely amazing and I, I was spinning that song like crazy I like I couldn't stop listening to it and they quickly quickly became my favorite band and 
When Periphery 2 hit, I know that I was a huge fan, but when Juggernaut hit, I knew that this band was for life. So I went to see them uh, live in Prague and I actually got to meet the whole band. They were extremely nice to me and just all around a bunch of very cool guys. I'm gonna show you some photos from that, I had a beer back then so I hope you will recognize me. But yeah, these guys are definitely my number one band right now and my favorite song right now is Stranger Things, that's just a, just a masterpiece, I don't have any other words for that. Number three is Kill Switch Engage. Oh man, Metalcore. My love for Metalcore is absolutely never ending, especially with this band. I mean, there's been quite a lot of drama going on with the singer situation, but I absolutely hate people that just say, uh, Howard, come back, and guys, it's not happening. Jesse's there, and he's improved so much over the years that it's absolutely incredible. Also, his lyrics are absolutely amazing, and I don't know, this band just has the perfect perfect fit for me when it comes to heaviness and melodicness because Adam D is such a mastermind while composing those songs and it's just very feel fierce very heartfelt music and lyrics and vocals and basically everything and also I need to mention Times of Grace because that band with one album Hymn of a Broken Man is such a great it's such a great emotional album I highly recommend to anyone who likes metalcore with a little bit of a different atmosphere to it to really check it out because it's it's definitely one of my favorite albums of all time. Band number four is In Flames. This is actually the band that got me into heavier music and without them I probably wouldn't be sitting here and listening to all your recommendations because I would never get to such heavy music by myself. I heard them on the radio, I think they were playing Take This Life and I was like, whoa, this is different, like there's a whole lot of screaming but the chorus is like sung and that, that was something very new to me back then and you know before this uh, the heaviest thing for me was just like Iron Maiden and stuff like that but after hearing this I really got into the Scandinavian metal scene and bands like Dark Tranquility, Soilwork, Insomnium, Amon and Marv and all this stuff just overwhelmed me with great music and I was so happy that I got into this because it was just something that felt, I don't know, it just really felt close to my heart for some reason and I went to see the live and I actually met the whole band as well and they were cool as well. I don't know about the newer stuff, I think it's still cool but a lot of people just dismiss it but if they just kept on playing all the same stuff all the time I think it would grow stale after a while. So I'm actually happy that they're trying our new stuff and I think it's working well. Number five might be actually the weirdest band that you encounter on this list for most of you at least I think it's the algorithm this is actually a one-man pro project by Remy Gallego if I read that correctly I'm not sure even myself I'm sorry and he handles all the stuff and he has a drummer for live performances and the music itself it's really hard to explain it's just like I'm gonna give you a little taste and maybe you'll know what I'm talking about Shoe 
Amiga had sex with an old school console and a computer and the music just came straight out of it as a baby. I don't know what I'm even talking about anymore. <laughs> This music has been very mind-opening for me because there's tons of crazy stuff happening in there and there's a lot of these unexpected turns and electronic sections that just blow my mind every time I'm here, I hear them and it's also so well composed and really creative that I just can wrap my mind around that it's just insane, I mean just go listen for yourself because this, this is really hard to explain and you need to experience this for yourself. If you're open-minded or if you're not open-minded, maybe this will open your mind as well, so give it a shot! Band number 6 is Scar Symmetry, another Scandinavian band with a very unique sound and great vocals and great compositions. I mean, if you've never heard Scar Symmetry and you like melodic death metal with a little bit of progressive vibe to it, you need to give these guys a shot. Like, these guys are absolutely insane at what they do, creative songwriting, like, those guitars per Nielsen can pull off. That's some crazy stuff right there. I mean, I'm just gonna let you listen to this. vocalist situation with Christian just leaving the band and Lars and Robert joining in but I still love the band to this day and I think they still do amazing songs and I've actually seen them live and again I met the whole band. Their music is really intense and filled with great vocals, great lyrics and great musicianship all over the place. Again, as I said, if you like melodic death metal with a little bit of progressive vibe and you don't mind like 10 minute songs that are really extremely enjoyable, I mean who would mind that? Go give these guys a shot because they are really top notch. Band number 7 is Machine Supremacy and again this band is from Scandinavia. I don't know what the hell is going up there but they, they have some just kind of magic to their music that just really appeals to me. And this band got me with their very fresh sounding metal mixed with like retro old school game sounds. I mean, I know it sounds like weird when I say, say like that, but trust me, it's amazing. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, at first I had a little bit of problems with the vocals, but after they released uh, the album A View From The End Of The World and I listened to that album, you know, in one go, I was like, holy crap, I was so wrong about this band, like I enjoyed it all the way through and suddenly I even enjoyed the older stuff and I just became a fan because these guys have a really really fresh take on metal music and it's not just the, the chip tune or 8-bit eight, eight sounds from the old school games it's also in the songwriting really creative really great guitar work and everything you know they can go really heavy or they can go really slow and mellow but they never lose their signature sound and that's something that I will always appreciate. Band number 8 is Fear Factory. They are kind of fathers of a genre or musical style called cyber metal or you can say it's just a little heavier industrial metal but for me when I heard Replica for the first time that's a long time ago I was like holy balls these double bass parts are just so crazy fast and my mind was just blown at the moment because I was damn I thought it was some new music but actually the album, their masterpiece, at least in my opinion, uh, Demon Effector, was released in 1995. And I mean, it still, it still can compare to the sounds of new bands even today because it just sounds so good. It's just a combination of the steel cold riffs, the groovy stuff, and the great vocals by Burton C. Bell. Like, he has one of a kind voice, and 
especially the song Resurrection, like that, that song is so mind-blowing, it's so well written and it's just so fresh sounding for its time that it's insane. Band number 9 is Dark Tranquility. It was at the same time that I got into In Flames and Soilwork that I got into Dark Tranquility. They were like this part of the Gothenburg sound, like melodic death metal. Really early stuff is like just pure melodic death metal to your face and it sounds great. Like Mikael Stane's vocals and lyrics, especially when it comes to lyrics, like that's some deep stuff in there. But the thing that I really like about this band is that they didn't stop exploring there and they released an album called Projector and they really used a whole lot more of Mikael's clean vocals and the whole album just had a very different vibe from their previous stuff and you know people accepted it and loved it and I mean therein is still one of their uh, most popular songs when it comes to live performances, like people love that stuff. Their sound never gets stale, at least for me, because they added a lot of electronics, or not a whole lot, but really fitting electronics later on, especially on the album Character, which is my favorite album from them. And I mean, just li listen to the song My Negation. That's, I think, one of their masterpieces, like really atmospheric stuff, but you know, it feels heavy on you and the lyrics are just, oh man, out of this world, you need to listen to it. Their songs really have a unique and melancholic atmosphere to them. It reminds me of Insomnium a little bit, but I think these guys were here before Insomnium, but uh, Insomnium is really, really different from these guys. Like, not a whole lot different, but Insomnium doesn't use electronics as much. And damn, Dark Tranquility is, even today, they are releasing superb music and just check them out. I think if you like death metal, melodic death metal especially, you will love them. And band number 10 is Demon Hunter, a Christian metal band from US, actually a Christian metalcore band from the US, and I don't even know how I got into them. I think when I heard uh, their song Fading Away, I immediately checked out the whole album Storm at the Gates of Hell, and I was like, damn, this is good quality metalcore right here. But the thing is, especially about that album, is you have just metalcore, but there are songs on their album, like every song is really different and really unique. Even when they stayed in the boundaries of metalcore, they were able to do really different stuff. Like, I mean, just take the song Storm the Gates of Hell and Thorns, like these songs are very, very different, but awesome as well. Also, sometimes when metal bands try slower songs or even ballads, it doesn't always work, like sometimes it's corny, sometimes it just doesn't feel right. But Demon Hunter, then these guys can pull out heavy songs like, you know, Storm the Gates of Hell or Jesus Web from a newer album. And then they pull out stuff like My Heartstrings Come Undone and to Tomorrow Never Comes. And these really slow songs that just don't feel out of place, like they feel they belong in their sound. Hey, they can pull it off just perfectly and it works, it works. And also their vocalist Ryan Clark is a beast and his clean vocals and even his scream vocals, harsh vocals are really one of a kind and you know he even has a song with Bjorn Speed Street from Soilwork in it and it's just Also, 
all three honorable mentions and that is Breaking Benjamin, Skillet and Red. I know that might sound like really soft stuff to you guys but I really love these bands and yeah, they, their songs just work with me. Alright, so that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it wasn't too boring for you or anything. Maybe you can base your recommendations uh, from now on better, uh, you know, knowing this uh, list of my favorite bands. And now you even know a little bit more about me and I will try to put this video out as soon as I can. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a good start to 2018. I hope it's gonna be a great year for me and for you and for all of us. And yeah, thank you again so much. I know I say thank you all the time, but really thank you. We're now at like 1,200 subscribers. That is absolutely amazing, by the way. And yeah, that's it. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you want to see more and leave your recommendations for uh, songs that I, you want me to react to down below and I will try to get them as soon as I can. So yeah, I hope you will have a great day now, evening, night or whatever and I will see you in the next video. Cheers!